más Eurofans! ¿Qué tal están? Saludos y bienvenidos a esta nueva entrevista en este canal de YouTube de Eurelinsu. Uh, perdonadnos las legañas, estamos grabando bien temprano en la mañana. Saludos, no parme, tractor. Pues seguimos con nuestro viaje por los, por los finalistas del Malta Eurovision Song Contest y esta vez nos toca ponernos emocionales con la balada de Gail Atar. Hello, Gail. How are you? Hi, I'm okay. How are you? We are really, we are really fine. A little bit awake, a little bit awakening in the morning. Sorry about that. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for attending, for attending us. And thank before the uh, all the, and <laughs> before all, all uh, before all the Malta Eurovision contest and Eurovision star uh, stuff. Sorry, uh, I, I want to know about yourself. How you started? Uh, how was your career going uh, in the in the Malta's music uh, industry? Okay, so um, basically I started attending vocal coach lessons around when I was nine, but I've always sung in like local uh, local events when I was younger, like around four years old. But um, mm -hmm. I started to actually realize that it's a passion since I was about nine. Um, so from there, I started taking part in smaller competitions to gain my confidence. And uh, every year I would watch the Eurovision with my family and I would be like, one day I'll try... <laughs> to enter mm -hmm. a competition as big as this one. And I felt like this year I was finally ready. So I did it. Is, is your first, is your really first, first participation in, in the, yes. in the Malta Eurovision contest? Yes, it was the first time I ever applied. Oh, nice. Uh, talking about your, talking about your ballads, uh, really, really strong. Uh, was, what was the, how, what, how it merged our, What are the inspiration, the message, the size of, of your song? Okay, so the message of my song is basically, it was written about um, people who find themselves in situations which are abusive. So either physical, mentally, emotionally, anything. So in the beginning of the song, you can see that the person is very desperate in the situation and is in pain. But with each verse, the person is getting stronger and is finding her voice back. And uh, that's the whole point of the song. So you fall, you fall back, but you get back even stronger. As a first timer, how you reacted when uh, TVN called you to make part of the MSC? So basically, I was in a lecture. <laughs> So, oh. <laughs> yes, and they post the results, they don't call you. So uh -huh. everyone was messaging me. I got like loads of messages congratulating me. And I'm like, what's going on? I have literally no idea what's going on. I was in the middle of a lecture. I had to walk out the room and look at my phone and I see that I passed. And it was so funny. I didn't even know what was happening in that lecture, I swear. <laughs> That's that's awesome. Uh, you have to what first of all congratulations to be one of the one of the finalists. How was uh, how was how you felt uh, your semifinal uh, your semifinal uh, performing in the in the show? Um, it was it was a lovely experience to be fair. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it was very personal since it was a very small audience in the back. It was just the contestants and some plus one. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so it felt more vulnerable to me to just be singing in a room with few people, um, mm -hmm. uh, but it was amazing. It was honestly uh, a really, really nice experience. Uh, how how it's going the preparations for for the performing in February in February the third for the final? So preparations are in full blown at the moment. Uh, so we're I'm mm -hmm. meeting with my vocal coach very often <laughs> to train as oh, much nice. as possible um, we're working on my stage presence so that i can do some movements on stage to bring it more to life um uh, we're uh, we're settled on clothing and the aesthetic so i'm pretty pretty excited now uh, any any detail you can tell us about uh, the dress or the state of the staging we will be a little bit different of the show or Yes, yes, it will be different from the semifinals. Um, so what I can say is that it will match the vibe of the song. So it's going to be mm -hmm. a very dark mood and you are going to oh. see some mystery and some smoke. Oh, I like <laughs> I like the smoke in the in the, in the strong ballads. Uh, what are, uh, are you, are you have time to hang out with your with your with your mates in the 
in the in the in the semifinal, of course, in the show, but the final is the final is right now, right now as as a as a first time you can see. I think that you know each other, I guess. Yes, yes, we do. I've I know so I've known some of them from another competition. Um, mm -hmm. but they are all very lovely. So I met some new people as well this year. But we had like a get together just before we knew who was going through for the finals. Like the night before we got together, we ate together, we had some drinks, we had fun, we were dancing. They are all so lovely. And it's really nice the fact that it's not that cold competition. So, you know, we're competing each other. It's it's like we're literally trying to bring music to mm -hmm. life and it unifies us. And it's so beautiful. What are your, what, uh, besides your song, what are your favorites from, from the finals? Ah, this is a hard one because everyone has such a different style and they're all mm -hmm. really good. Um, but if I had to say, um, probably um, Ryan Healy with, uh, with Karma and uh, Denise with Mara. Uh, with uh, a Eurovision related stuff, uh, you said that you are a Eurovision, fa a Eurovision fan, you watching the festival, the contest. Uh, what are your first memories uh, about watching Eurovision? My first memories is Chiara yeah. actually when she represented in Malta with Angel. Oh. Um, so I have, I've, I have a video somewhere, my dad has a video of me singing um, mm -hmm. uh, Angel by Chiara and I'm doing the movements. So I've watched Eurovision since I can remember. Um, yeah. And it has changed drastically. So the music, the music tastes has changed, but it's still yeah. so beautiful. The fact that everyone just meets up with family members and friends to sit down and watch Eurovision together, hear the music. It's such a beautiful, beautiful competition. Is this, is this, is that year when Chiara came second, the first, Time the uh, Manta was second, yes. if I remember. Ha yes. It was to, it, ha it was to have a big deal for such a not, not uh, don't get don't don't I don't get through, but for a small island as Malta, it, getting the yes. result will be a has to be a, a huge deal. It is. It was a very big big deal. Um, I think we only came. I think with Chiara Ira Losco. Yeah. Yeah, I think those two came second. The two. Yes. Um, what are your? Are you sorry? No, it was, I just said it was a very big deal. <laughs> okay. Um, what are your favorite songs related to Eurovision? First, from your own country, Malta, and from another countries too. Um, so uh, first, from Malta, my favorite is "Warrior" by Amber. Oh. Um, yes, she. Nice it, it's such a beautiful. Yes, it's such a beautiful song. Um, and probably from international, mm -hmm. there's obviously Tattoo is a beautiful, beautiful song. Um, but also Hold Me Closer from 2022. It was also a Sweden qualifier. Uh -huh. Yes, Cornelia, Cornelia Jacobs. Yes, very beautiful. Do you, like to, do, you, do you like to participate in Sweden one day? Because you have to love uh, <laughs> Swedish songs. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I will always represent my country. Ah, nice. Well, uh, besides all that can happen in for Malta in the final of Malta Eurovision, Malta Eurovision Song Contest, even if you were represent um, your countries in Eurovision, finally, uh, what are your future plans as a sing uh, as a singer? Well, how how is the 2024 for Gaylata? So um, I feel like I would work more on myself, so work more on, on releasing my music and work on new songs. Because I think uh, that when you release your own songs, people get to know you personally mm -hmm. even more rather than just releasing covers because it's a personal story. It's something that I care about to sing. Um, yeah. So I think that's the 2024 for me. All, all in singles or you have an EP or an album planned? No, no, it's still up in the air. I don't have uh, an EP planned. <laughs> <It's> still, <laughs> I, I, I'm focusing on Eurovision. <laughs> as soon as Eurovision yeah. passes, then I, I'll, I'll start uh, um, working on my uh, EP. That sounds that sounds really that sounds really good. Uh, one last one last question and one last question. I I for, I forget uh, talking about your participation as your first statement. Uh, why why you decide that 
seen a lot of your colleagues uh, trying some of them uh, many times. Uh, why you decide that this year is the year and not before to try to participate for Malta? I think I, before I was in a stage where um, I wasn't sure of mm -hmm. myself as, a, as an artist. Now, this, uh, this, when I started working on it, I found my voice, I found my, uh, my style. So I felt even more ready to uh, promote myself on such a larger scale, in Malta especially. Um, so yes, I felt ready and I felt like, you know, something inside me just said, this is my year, <laughs> I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. So I went for it. Well, yeah, the 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 halfway the halfway through just is complete. You are in the you are in the finals. Uh, uh, also uh, also another question I forget, and this is the last last one. How you how you feel the reactions of the pe of the people? I feel that your song was really well appreciated. I don't know if it's the same to you. How you feel the the feedback from Maltese and from international fans? No, I think my my song. Uh... It was very much appreciated with people with people so mm. internationally and maltese um even vocally i was praised a lot so that means the world to me <laughs> that vocally i was praised that much um so on the whole i think it did very well and we hope that it can be very well in the finals. Gail Atar, thank you so much to, you. to join us. To join us, I will uh, end up this interview in Spanish. And of course, good luck in the in the finals in a couple of weeks. Ha sido Gail Atar. Eh, gracias por gracias por acompañarnos. Si les ha gustado esta entrevista, denle al botón de suscribirse al canal de YouTube de Eurorelinto y por supuesto síganos en redes sociales. Somos Eurorelinto en Twitter, Instagram, TikTok y Threads. Recuerden que nos pueden ver en directo todos los martes a las nueve de la noche ha sido o ha sido parte tancor nos vemos en la siguiente chao